Hey guys, Mets Play here, and here we are for another episode of Mets Speculate. Well, I say another episode, I'm calling this series Mets Speculate now, because I like that more than a Mets Predict. But anyway, uh, in today's video, we'll be looking at Seth Roth, who will be getting his awakening on Wednesday. And I thought I'd do a little prediction of what we might expect from Seth Roth, plus a little bit of like my hopes versus what I think the devs might do. So that out of the way, let's look at Seth Roth's first ability, which is Fervent Blow. So, for those who, who don't know or just can't remember, Fervent Blow is just a 10 hit brave attack, and Seth Roth's Massive Mune just increases the potency of Fervent Blow. Now, for me, I've got a little downplayed here, so my version it's going to be less OP than the dev version, at least in my opinion. So what I think will happen for Fervent Blow is that it'll become get or get a brave damage increase, becomes stronger, obviously, and I think it will actually give a Psycho Genova. I think this, so that means that people could actually potentially get Sephiroth to Genova, I think it's 5, um, because you, you need to have his CP 35 in order to do that. But I think by getting stacked from Fervent Blow, I think that it will allow players to be able to get uh, Genova at um, all, all five stacks. But that's just my opinion anyway. And then I think he can overflow up to 150%. Uh, so mine's pretty watered down. It's only three additions, not that great. But I think the devs version will be a lot better. Uh, this is the effect that I think the devs will go. Now, the devs have a mission to do. They have to make Sephiroth... OP. They have to put Sephiroth in the in the Kuja, Golbez, Renoa category of really powerful characters. And I think that he'll do that with this. So again we'll get the brave damage increase. But I think oh I, I should have put that. Whilst I think mine will be a moderate one, I think the bread the devs will do a massive increase to this. I also think there'll be a low action delay. Because Sephiroth is all about high damage and speed. And I think that low action delay will be good for us too. I think that's what the devs will do. Also, again, overflowing, and then I I don't think the devs are going to give Genova. I don't think they're going to give Genova. Um, I think what they're going to do is they're going to increase the number of uses by one because you already get like seven uses, so it goes up to eight, and that means that Sephiroth gets longevity as well as being very powerful as well. Also, I think it will give him brave attack plus, which will just be three hits on his double brave attack instead of just the one. So moving on, here we are for Octoslash. Now Octoslash is a seven hit brave attack plus one hit attack at the end, the eight hits. And what it does is it grants Sephiroth a permanent buff of Genova. So Genova is a frame buff, which increases Sephiroth's speed and lowers the opponent's speed. And I believe the max Genova level is five. The only way to achieve Genova five is with Sephiroth's um, CP35, I believe. I don't think you get enough usage because Octoslash only has four and therefore you'll never get five unless you have Sephiroth CP35. Now, Sephiroth CP35 further makes uh, Genova a lot better. So it gives an additional stack when you use Octoslash and if you break the target, which is very easy, it also gives another stack, a stack so you can get three potentially in one turn. And then it also increases max brave and attack speed as well on basically Genova buffs as well. So what I think will happen is that and I agree with the devs here and I think pretty much nail on what I think and what I imagine the devs will do is that we'll get a brave damage increase. It will be a big one. Low action delay as well to combine with that speed. Then it could overflow as well up to 150%. More usages too, so that means that if you don't have Sephiroth CB35, you can get to Genova 5. And I think it'll get another stack of Genova, another stack, so it gets you to Genova 4 with one use of the CB35. Then I think you get H2 attack plus, which will be a two hit brave attack before H3 attack as well. And with all these effects, I think Sephiroth will be a very fast and powerful attacker. And he'll be able to lower the opponent's speed as well with like a hidden hidden debuff. So it's not something that is on them. So it can stack with other speed down debuffs as well. And yeah. And I think with all this skip, Sephiroth could potentially be a very powerful character. Whether or not it would put him up to the ranks of Renoa, Golbez or Kuja, I'm not too sure. But I'm not the biggest Sephiroth fan. So there might be an element of bias there that makes me not think so. But we shall see. 
couldn't do this video without going through some speculation about what Sephiroth's X ability will be. So I think it's going to be Hell's Gate. Now, for those who don't know, Hell's Gate was the attack that Sephiroth used to uh, kill Aerith. At least that's what the name they gave it in the PSP games. Um, if it sounds like I'm crying, I'm not crying. I'm completely over Aerith dying. Completely. <laughs> no, Aerith, why? <laughs> but jokes aside, um, this is my prediction here. And I think this is just going to be a free hit brave attack plus HP attack to them to all targets. Now, how I think this will go down is that if you target the enemy, that enemy will take full damage. And then the rest will take 50% of that damage. And I think this deck will also overflow up to 150%. Uh, I think that'll be a thing with Sephiroth for all of his attacks. I also think that he'll get Genoa straight to 5 when he uses him. So it means there's that sustainability as well. And you don't have to worry about using Octa Slash or if it goes my way further blow. What I imagine devs will go for is his Black Materia, which, if you haven't seen it by now, is just where he just... He, Absorb some brave from the Hulk enemy and then hits them with an AoE HP attack. But that's about it for uh, this episode of Met Speculate. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, let's keep a discussion going in the comment section. What do you think? Are you excited? Do you think there's any corrections? Or do you think it's not OP enough? Let me know. Alright, take care guys and I'll see you for the next video. Bye bye.